वेलकम एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डेमोस्ट्रेशन पार्ट ऑफ आवर स्मार्ट एग्रीकल्चर सिस्टम सो लेट्स गो एंड सी द ब्लॉक डायग्राम इन द ब्लॉक डायग्राम वी आर हैविंग द सेंसर्स यूनिट इन द सेंसर यूनिट वी विल बी हैविंग द डीएस 18 बीएस 20 अ वाटरप्रूफ टेंपरेचर सेंसर अ मॉइस्चर सेंसर एंड डीएचटी 11 टेंपरेचर एंड ह्यूमिडिटी सेंसर these sensor values will be going to the sensor data collection unit which will be a arduino uno you can may use arduino nano or a arduino mega according to your need according to your choice then these data values will be sent to a raspberry pi which will be acting as a web server and a actuator control unit the web server and all the pages of the web server even the data base of the web server will be connected and will be deployed to the raspberry pi itself and in the actuator unit we will be having the relay modules and the pump in order to maintain the correct moisture level in the soil to see these values we will be having the web pages either which will be the user interface pages to get the values and to interpret that data and do the further hands on so let's go and see the connection setup over here we will be having all the sensors connected to the arduino as you can see the dht11 sensor is being connected to the pin number 4 the ds18 bs20 sensor is being connected to pin number 5 of arduino and the soil moisture sensor is being connected to the analog pin a0 to the arduino and we are connecting the usb cable from arduino to the raspberry pi and in the raspberry pi we are connecting the relay module to the gpio pin 21 and connecting the power supply and the motor through the relay module it will be better to use the pcb uh, so that you can use it in a very compact manner and let's see the schematic for this for the sensor unit basically and this is our pcb layout so now let us go and see the components or the hardware which will be requiring here we are with the components on the right hand side you can see the components which will be responsible to getting the data and transferring it to the web server for this purpose we are using an arduino uno which will be getting the data from various sensors and the sensors package includes the ds18 bs20 a thermometer sensor which will be a waterproof a moisture sensor and a dht11 sensor for the humidity and a temperature outside the soil and over the left hand side you can see the raspberry pi which will be acting as a web server a database center and as well as the actuator to control the pump so that to regulate the water supply to the field now let's go and see the output on the web server which we will be getting as a web pages so now let us go and see the web pages for the user interface for this purpose open up a web browser make sure your output device on which you are seeing the outputs must be connected to the same network in which your raspberry pi is connected now enter the ip address of your raspberry pi in my case it's 192.168.1.102 hit enter there you go this page shows all the sensors output and even the pump status for the particular time this page will be reloaded after every 10 seconds so be careful about that as you can see the outer semi circle or the outer gauge is basically displaying the outer temperature or outer atmosphere temperature which is in degree celsius this yellow gauge is basically displaying the humidity value at in the earth atmosphere this red gauge is basically displaying the soil temperature and this blue gauge is basically uh, showing us the soil moisture level which is in percentage as you can see the pump is off that's because we have taken the threshold value to turn on or off the pump is 30% or a 30% moisture level if the user wants to change that value they can surely change that by clicking on this to change the threshold value you can put the value around in between 0 to 99 let us take it 45 you can submit it and that will be submitted out Now, if you want to see all the status or the data, complete table data, you can click on this button, complete the data table, and you can see 
time, day, temperature, humidity, soil temperature, soil moisture, and pump status all together. You can see the various values which are all being recorded. Now, if you want to see the graphical representation, you can surely see that by clicking on this button graphical representation. And over here, you will see the different value, and you can also see the spike level in these in the moisture values. All these pages will be reloading after every 10 seconds so that it will be getting all the instant values. Now let's go back. Now let's go and see the connection setup. Here we are with the setup. As you can see, we have attached all the systems. Just we have to need to connect the USB cable from the Arduino to the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, you over here we have the temperature sensor for the soil, moisture sensor and the humidity and the temperature sensor for the outside of the soil as all you can also see from the down below we have the pump system which will be getting the uh, water supply to the soil from this pipe channel so now let's connect it and let's see what outputs we get on our web page as you can see the various values of the sensors at present there is an outer temperature of 33.8 degrees celsius and the soil temperature is 30.8 so there is a difference between the both values of around 3 degrees celsius. At present the soil moisture is around 60% and the humidity outside is 71%. By default this value for the pump status is basically 30%. Right? If the moisture level is less than 30% the pump status will be on and for more it will be off. So as the value is 60.1% 60 so it's off. If the user wants to change this value, you can change by clicking on this and setting the new value. Let me set it by, let's suppose 68%. And as I submit, and as I submit this value, the pump starts on. In like this. And you are able to see the various folder values. And over this, you can see the on status. As now that uh, it will be reloading and you can see it's 71.3% and it's off now and every, every every second it will be try to retain that moisture level. So after your use you can change that value to again let this be 45 and it will remain off this period of time. So if you want to see the graphical representation over this and you can see various values of different sensors according to the time. There is a high switching pulses of temperature and high difference between temperature outside and the humidity value and the soil moisture level and you can see the fluctuations over this. If you want to see all the status in the complete table you can see by clicking over this it's over here time, date, temperature value, humidity value, soil temperature, soil moisture and over here is the pump status. Thanks for watching.